exciting for you as you're into the community now and this summer we'll celebrate the 75th annual forest festival wow this is exciting people from all over come to town to not only see the parades and the other events throughout the weekend but one of the major things that happens is the coronation of the new queen of the forest and that leads us into this morning's conversation with christine bowman and queen jessica good morning to you both good morning thanks good morning. for coming on and talking with us about this we have got saturday night seven o'clock uh shelton high school will be the forest festival coronation for 2019 and uh, i was so uh honored and had so much fun last year and looking forward to this weekend jessica you and i'll do the hosting duties yeah i'm super excited about that it'll be a lot of fun tell me a little bit about how it's been for you uh, over the year as queen as you get ready to uh, hand off the crown to the next big winner. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely exciting um, watching the new court. You know, they're going to, they've been practicing for this for months and I think they're going to do really well and I'm excited to see who will be able to take the crown. It's a fun night uh, with a lot of surprises. We don't want to spoil too many of them, but Christine, tell us a little bit about how this all has come about over the last many years as uh, it's a it's a big event at the high school on a wonderful stage and uh, it's just gonna be a fun yes. night yes so it takes place on saturday night at seven o'clock it is a free event and so we um, always hope that the community comes out to support the students we have 10 students this year applying for five positions wow. on the court so we have the queen of the forest and two princesses and then we have um competition for paul bunyan and timber the axe man and so um they have been practicing for the last six weeks or so um, to get ready for this night, they'll there will be, and they'll be introducing themselves. They'll have some competition and with a um, on stage interview question, and they will be performing each of them a speech, and they will be judged on those things. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting and a little nerve wracking for them, but. Yeah. Um, we have such a great group of contestants this year. It's going to be really exciting. Ten, that seems like a big number. It is. It is. And they're all great students. Like everyone is deserving of being on the court. So it'll be, um, it's going to be some tough competition for sure. Jessica, when you, uh, for the coronation uh, leading up to it with all the uh, rehearsals and things like that, uh, probably an exciting time. But then when you got on stage to start the evening, tell me about the emotions running through and by the end of the night when you got the the crown and things like that well i was really nerve-wracking when i was trying out there's actually just me and one other girl trying out for queen and we were best friends through high school and we we pretty much made a pact during one of the practices that no matter who gets it we're still gonna be friends we're still friends to this day That's and great. she's an amazing lady she's doing all the stuff and things that she wanted to do with her life and i was super nervous when i went on stage at first and i actually forgot my speech and all of a sudden i was talking and then it just happened and I was like, wow, I don't remember what I said, but I hope I said something good. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I feel like they just have to trust that everything they practiced will actually happen and come true. And they just have to trust in their confidence. This is for all of Mason County, isn't that right? Yes, that's correct. So we, um, we invite students from all the high schools. And this year, all of our students happen to be from Shelton High School. Okay. Um, but last year on the court, we had uh, Trinity Fuel, who was from Choice. And we've had um, several people from North Mason as well. And um, we had Spencer Burst, who did go to Merriam Knight when he first got on the court. And so we've definitely tried to have all the schools included in all of Mason County. The other big thing that will happen is the... Um reveal of the button right yes yes so we have a button contest with um this year we had close to 500 um button uh, applications wow. so this um elementary uh, middle school and high school students they draw buttons and um compete to be our button winner and so we have um we'll be doing some awards for that as well this leads you in the winner the winners uh on saturday night for the queen and the princesses and timber and paul will uh represent mason county all across the state right through different parades and events what were some of the That's things correct. you went to this last year 
So some of the parades we went to was Seafair in Seattle, and that's honestly my favorite because there's so many people and it's dark out. So we put a ton of lights on the flow, oh, and cool. when you're jumping around, you can't really see the like people in the audience or down the street because there's so many lights blinding you. Uh -huh. But after you see the pictures and the videos, you realize that was super cool. We put lights on our sashes and our crowns. So all the evening events are definitely my favorite. Um, but the, another favorite is definitely Forest Festival because as you're going down the street, you see all your friends, mm -hmm. your family, people from school we go into elementary schools and we always tell the kids come stop by our float before we start and we'll let them stand on the float um like right on the edge so it's completely safe but they can take a picture in the stand or sit on the queen's chair and take a picture um so we highly encourage the children to come take pictures with us too this does not look like an inexpensive thing it looks like there's an annual budget of about fifty five thousand dollars which is not small change what can people do out there to either sponsor it or donate or what are you looking for from the community where they can help out well um we are very blessed that we have a lot of um, community businesses that give money to forest festival we have a, a magazine that comes out where um businesses can advertise in that that's a big portion of how we raise funds and then of course our button sales so we sell buttons they're three dollars a button and we um hope that they're going to be a, a at several local businesses in the area. So if you see those buttons, we're hoping that people will buy them. They, they'll be for sale at the coronation as well. Oh, great. What's it like to have uh, young folks look up to you as the queen? Um, at first it was really nerve wracking because I was like, all of these children want to be me someday and I don't even know what I want to be. That was my first year on court because mm -hmm. I was still a junior in high school. But now that I know what I want to be, I'm in college at UW. And I'm like, I really hope I leave an impact on these children and the youth of Mason County all over that they can be whatever they want to be. When I wanted to be on court, I was four years old and I met the mm -hmm. queen at the time at Forest Festival. And that day I said, I'm going to do everything I can to be on court one day. And I finally wow. that dream That's, That's an story. awesome story. Yeah. So I hope some little girl can meet me and then say, I'm going to do that one day. And then she'll come back to me somehow and tell me that I, that happened. So. What advice do you have for the 10 contestants for Saturday night? Be confident. Just be confident. If you don't want to look at the audience straight in the face, look over them. That's what I did. Yep. It's kind of nerve wracking when you lock eyes with the judges. Sure. <laughs> um, so just look at the back wall. Be super confident and remember that they've practiced for months and all of them are amazing and they'll definitely win. Saturday so. night, 7 o'clock. It's at the high school on Shelton Springs Road, of course, here in Shelton. And uh, definitely come on out and see this as just one portion as we get ready to celebrate the 75th annual forest festival here in town that's awesome queen jessica is this kind of your last i mean i know we'll do stuff saturday night but is this the last kind of hurrah as the queen here this is the last one yep besides coronation and then sometimes they have the past queens come back after a couple years and ride in convertibles in the parade yeah so i hope i get to do that um but other than that this is my last thing so i'm signing off after this wow that's great christine good to see you good to see you and too. we'll see you friday for a rehearsal and saturday for the big performance and uh, coronation yeah thanks for coming on all right thank you